you were speaking positively, if you like, after the uh, the match here against Ipswich and then Stoke, and in and around then about Henderson coming back and the talks that you'd had with Manchester United. Has anything changed at all in that respect? Just because he's gone out to the Euros, is that still one you're expecting to happen? We'd love to happen. Uh, love it to happen. Um, the boy obviously has been making noises, as he <laughs> he makes quite a lot of noises <laughs> right the way through. But uh, he he sees himself playing in the Premier League for, for Sheffield United. So to get you know two out of the three uh, who want to make the deal happen is is, is positive. I res total respect for Manchester United. We've got a fantastic working relationship with them. We're in in dialogue with them regarding Dean's future, um, and. Um, and hopefully we can we can bring that together because he's certainly an outstanding uh, prospect, player, uh, character, uh, and one that's you know our supporters have taken to dearly to their to their hearts because of of, of what he's about. And uh, if I can make one of my loan signings, uh, 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 Dean Henderson, then I think that'd be a great way to get uh, get our uh, get our summer recruitment off and running. Mm. Uh, it would be here till this time next week if we were to talk about a lot of speculation. Yeah. But some of it, just a cherry pick, Freeman at, QP, at uh, QPR, have you bid for him? I think there's a lot of speculation going around, kids, and I, I ain't going to change the way I've, I've, I've approached it over the last last three years. And I, I, I can't because we're not in a position to to talk openly about you know players that, uh, that, that we're after. Um, there's a lot of speculation, there's a lot of talk. Agents put names... Out there in the media to to uh, to speculate and circulate uh, and, and and gain interest from from that. We can't really do anything on our, the amount of players that we've been linked to. I'll be, you know, like I said, we'd be here all, all, all night saying no, no, and put majority of them no. Mm. Of course, there's players out there that that fit the bill, and people put two and two together. But uh, and it's not me deflecting or whatever but we can't we can't compete we can't compete with Aston Villa you know they're an, an unbelievable different league they're, they were a Premier League team that found themselves found themselves out of the division for a couple of years and, and Dean fantastically you know turned turned it round and and altered the path of, of, of Aston Villa uh, and obviously with the, with the owners and what the, what what they bring to, to, to that football club of of by you know when you're looking at it, the, the signings that they've made is 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 right up there, a mid to top end of of of, of the Premier League. We're we're not in that position. We're not in that situation. You know the the wealth as we talked about here, the the wealth of of the Premier League. If you're in there two years, if you're in there three or four years, like the likes of Brighton and and and, and Burnley and Bournemouth, and these are not historical, powerful football clubs, but. You know, when you're getting 100 million every uh, every, every year to stay in the division and, and shirt sponsorships of the like of what what we're managing to get over the line now, and they're getting that, and 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 uh, obviously all the other all the other add-ons makes makes them powerful football clubs. So, you know, the the division, the Premier League, from for, for in in the last time we were there to to, to now is is is, is changed. It's it's unrecognisable from when it where where it was to where it is now. Um, but we've got to compete and we'll do the best in, in, terms, of, uh, in terms of that.